Chapter 361, Master of Forging, 3, The In-Charge Forced to Smile. She only forged one finished weapon today, but the skills she displayed are no worse than mine. I wonder who her master is. Perhaps, only a Grand Master is able to teach such a genius. The elderly's eyes deepened at the words. Everyone thinks that the level of one's martial skills will enable them to attain a different status. However, Regardless of forging or refining pills, one would not have any other concerns if they reached the level of a Grand Master, as powerful figures would offer their services to obtain the items they produced. I wonder how Yi Kington's cultivation is currently. If there's nothing outstanding, she could focus on forging armaments. With her talent, it is not impossible to reach the level of a Grand Master. The in charge mumbled. In this world, it was extremely rare for people to reach the state of a Grand Master, and only a few were successful in the past thousand years. And those few people had average cultivations, but any random divine weapons they produced could attract a group of people offering their services. No matter how powerful the mighty figures were, they would still seek an exceedingly strong weapon, and thus, Grand Masters were people who they had to treat politely the most. It seems that I need to make a trip to the Inner Sect's Elders Hall. The elderly rubbed his beard as he thought. If Yi Kington really had the ability to become a Grand Master of Forging, she would no longer be as simple as an ordinary disciple to Xuanling Sect. If Xuanling Sect could raise a Grand Master, it would have an exceptional significance. At that thought, the elderly did not stay any longer in the Sword Spirit Workshop and left immediately. Yi Kington, who exited the Sword Spirit Workshop, did not realize how lucky she was today as she joyously hugged her demonic bloodsword and dagger all the way back to her residence. In the yard, Fi Ying was cleaning up the fallen leaves and immediately greeted Yi Kington when he saw her. Are you in a very good mood today, miss? Fi Ying blinked at Yi Kington. Yi Kington chuckled and nodded. Suddenly recalling something, she opened her space ring and took some items out. Tell Nishang to come here. Fi Ying nodded and immediately called for Nishang. When Yi Kington saw the two young teens standing before her, she finally placed the items that she just took out into their hands. No matter what your identities are currently, according to your talents, you will not remain here forever as long as you cultivate diligently from now on. Yi Kington handed Fi Ying and Nishang two basic cultivation techniques which, although were not considered rare, were the most suitable for their age. Only by laying a strong foundation from young would there be better effects in one's cultivation in the future. Apart from cultivation techniques, Yi Kington also handed them a few bottles of Xi spirit pills. These were all exchanged when she was in the outer sect. Now that she had the soul condensation pills after entering the inner sect, the Xi spirit pills were naturally no longer suitable for her. Disbelief filled the eyes of the two kids as they looked at the pile of items in their hands. The identity of a sword boy or attendant girl was equivalent to that of servants in the inner sect. To guard against their sword boy and attendant girl from developing, many disciples never allowed them to have too much contact with things related to martial skills, much less take the initiative to give them cultivation techniques and elixirs. Miss We cannot accept these items Nishang frantically shook her head and returned the items to Yi Kington. Fi Ying, similarly, was overwhelmed by this unexpected favor and was a little frightened. Chapter 362, Mission 1. Yi Kington would never treat the people around her poorly. After entering the inner sect in her previous life, the sword boy and attendant girl appointed to her treated her pretty well, and that was a slight portion of warmth she received in the sect. However, those two kids were probably not yet ten right now and had not been selected by the sect. She was not powerful enough in her previous life and could not do anything for them. Meeting Fi Ying and Nishang this time was considered a kind of fate. In her previous life, Fi Ying was able to become an official inner sect disciple through his own talent, and what she did merely won her a favor. Rather, it was Nishang. She had never heard anything about Nishang in her previous life, but she could tell that Nishang's talent was not any lower than Fi Ying's from these few days. Yet somehow, she did not manage to become an official disciple in her previous life. The two kids still wanted to reject the gifts but were forced to accept them by Yi Kington. With a pile of items in their hands, 
Fei Ying and Nishang were both surprised and delighted. They thanked her continuously and engraved this precious favor of hers in their hearts. It was really their blessing to be able to meet such a nice person like Yi Kington. Yi Kington waved a hand for them to continue with their work. There was not much work in the courtyard on usual days, and the two kids were idle most of the time. As a sword boy, Fei Ying could exchange a few moves with Yi Kington. However, Yi Kington's method of cultivation was not similar to that of normal people. Thus, she rarely allowed Fei Ying to practice with her, rather than letting the two of them waste their time, allowing them to cultivate and improve their skills in their spare time was much better. With a weapon she adored, Yi Kington would naturally not neglect her cultivation. A month passed in the blink of an eye. Apart from giving the two kids some guidance in their cultivation, most of her time was spent on upgrading herself. The spirit energy in the inner sect was much richer than the outer sect, and this was more nourishing for Yi Kington's spirit root. After entering the inner sect for a month, new disciples were required to begin accepting sect missions. However, before that, Yi Kington had already accepted two rewarded missions by herself and earned quite a lot of Xuanming points which she used to cultivate in the Spirit Consonance River. It was a coincidence that her first sect appointed mission was actually together with the Blood Moon sect elder. When the Blood Moon sect elder saw Yi Kington, there was a subtle change in his expression, and it was not as resistant as before. Some outer sect disciples have not returned from their sect mission within the stipulated timing. The sect wants me to take a look. Yi Kington looked at the mission scroll, and when she thought of the word disappearance, her eyes fell on the Blood Moon sect elder. The mass disappearance of disciples from different sects was mostly related to the Blood Moon sect's resurrection. However, the disappearance situation stopped afterward. Now that there was another disappearance case two months later, Yi Kington could not help but suspect whether it was related to the Blood Moon sect. The Blood Moon sect elder was rather annoyed by Yi Kington's stare. Don't look at me. I've always been in Xuanling sect during this period of time, and even if a disciple did disappear, it has nothing to do with me. Even if he wanted to, there was no opportunity. Moreover, with Yi Kington's threatened temptation using the source of the marrow pill and bonded soul pill, how would he act recklessly under her watch? I know it's not you. I'm just asking if you have any clues, Yi Kington said. The Blood Moon sect elder replied. How would I have any clues? Everyone from the Blood Moon sect had their souls sealed back then, and most of them were scattered everywhere. How would I be able to know anything? Yi Kington was troubled over the matter as well and was more vigilant. If this incident was really related to the Blood Moon sect, there was nothing bad about the Blood Moon sect elder following along. Chapter 363, Mission, 2. This time, Yi Kington's mission location was at the Floating Light Canyon, which was some distance away from Xuanling sect. Traveling to and fro would take at least one month. After making some preparations, the two of them set off immediately. In the Floating Light Canyon, a few figures shuffled through the dense forest in a panic. They were dressed in the Xuanling sect's outer sect uniform, but at that instant, these sect disciples no longer had the arrogance and distinguished air around them as before, with dirt and wounds covering their bodies. The Wind Sword sect people probably would not be able to catch up so quickly. Let's take a rest for now. A Xuanling sect disciple panted. The dirt on his face could not cover his pale complexion. The other people slowly stopped after hearing that, and they panted with an ugly expression. The seven people were all Xuanling sect's outer sect disciples and had received a sect mission a month before. After heading to the Floating Light Canyon, the entire mission was completed relatively successfully. However, no one had expected that. They would actually encounter an accident when they were about to return. A pale Suwon was in the team as well. She pursed her lips lightly and looked towards Luke Suin, who was frowning and breathing unsteadily. Senior brother Lu will the people from the Wind Sword sect still chase after us? Luke Suin's expression was very ugly at that moment. This was the first sect mission he accepted after recovering from the injury, yet unexpectedly he was met with such a setback. Then, Luke Suin did not reply to Su Wan and rather looked at another disciple in the team. That disciple was tall and handsome, but his expression was extremely ugly at that instant with wounds all over his body. It could be said that his injuries were the most severe amongst the seven of them. Kiao Mo, 
this incident started because of you, with things as such, shouldn't you give us an explanation? Luke Xiu in threw his words coldly, his voice attracted the attention of other people in the team, the reason for having to go in hiding in the floating light canyon so miserably was something done by that disciple called Kiyamo, junior brother Lu, this was just an accident, junior brother Kiao did not wish for this either, don't say any more already, what is most important right now is to flee from this place. A disciple mediated, Luke Xuin scoffed as he looked at the pale Kiyamo, accident, if he did not offend the wind sword sect disciples for nothing, why would they attack us, furthermore, it was originally their own business, but he did not know what was good for him and had to join in, now that he stirred up such a huge matter, why do we have to suffer together with him, Luke Xuin's words were relatively harsh and Kiyamo's expression turned even uglier, the wind sword sect and they usually stayed out of each other's way, nothing happened initially when they met, but Kiyamo happened to see his fiance in the group of wind sword sect disciples, as the two groups passed by each other, he caught sight of the young lady joking with the wind sword sect disciple flirtatiously, which infuriated him immediately, he reasoned with them but both parties were angered as they argued and ended up in a physical brawl, the number of wind sword sect disciples was double of theirs, and when they fought, the seven people from Xuanling sect naturally were not the wind sword sect's opponents, in the end, the Xuanling sect disciples were still unable to escape after being cornered in the floating light canyon by the wind sword sect disciples for days, chapter 364, mission, 3, you don't have the skills, but you still stirred up these troubles, Kiaomo, if you are a man, you should answer for your own acts and admit your mistakes to the wind sword sect people, don't implicate us, Luke Xuin's brows were tightly furrowed as displeasure filled him, Kiaomo hung his head low, he was the most severely injured and was extremely vexed over implicating his fellow senior and junior brothers, after being incited by Luke Xuin, Kiaomo straightened himself with difficulty and said, Junior brother Lu is right, I should answer for my own acts, I'll look for the wind sword sect people right now, seeing that Kiyamo was about to leave while struggling with all the injuries, the other disciples stopped him immediately, what do you mean answering for your own acts, we are all Xuanling sect disciples and our senior and junior brothers, deep down, everyone was aware that although the conflict was started because of Kiyamo, the sect's prestige was at stake right now, if Kiyamo were to be handed over, what would become of them, pieces of trash that betrayed a fellow disciple to ensure their own safety, Luke Xuin's expression turned colder, he did not intend to waste any time here, an outer sect elder recently thought highly of him, and he learned quite a number of cultivation techniques which improved his skills greatly, this delay would waste so much time that could have been used to upgrade himself, senior brother Lu's words have some reason in them, the number of us is fewer than that of the wind sword sect, if they don't retreat, god knows how long we will be surrounded here for, it is already past the mission submission deadline, if we return any later, I'm afraid we would all be punished, Suwon echoed after Luke Xuin, over this period of time, Suwon witnessed Luke Xuin's improvement, and she was naturally more hopeful. Given Luke Xuin's improvements, it seemed that he probably had a chance of becoming an inner sect disciple in the inner sect assessment next year. As the group was arguing, a few figures suddenly appeared. I was still wondering where you all hid, so it is here. A tall young man who was donned in the wind sword sect's outer sect uniform walked with large strides towards the group with over ten wind sword sect disciples following behind him. The appearance of the wind sword sect disciples caused the Xuanling sect disciples to be on full alert. What do you all want to do? A Xuanling sect disciple asked in a low tone, What do we want to do? The leader of the wind sword sect disciples scoffed. He scanned the faces of the people from Xuanling sect, and his eyes eventually fell on Kiyamo. You Xuanling sect disciples do not have any manners and are actually asking me what I want to do now? He offended a disciple of my sect. Has Xuanling sect never taught you how to settle this matter? Kiyamo's expression was a little ugly. He looked at the blustering and truculent twin sword sect people and then looked back at the miserable appearance of his fellow disciples. He clenched his fist silently and took a step forward. I was the perpetrator. If you have anything, 
just come at me. The wind sword sect disciple raised a brow at Kiaomo and cackled instantly. You have some sense of responsibility. My requirements are not high. His eyes sharpened. Suddenly, he lifted the hem of his clothing and stepped on a stump with his left foot, tapping his thigh. He laughed with an ill intention. As long as you crawl between my legs and admit your mistake with three kowtows, this matter can be considered to be over. I'll bring my people away immediately and allow you all to leave the floating light canyon. The expressions of all Xuanling sect disciples were extremely ugly upon hearing the wind sword sect disciple. Scoundrel. You're going too far. Chapter 365, Mission, 4. Go too far? The wind sword sect disciple scoffed. The moment he finished his sentence, the group of wind sword sect disciples people immediately drew out their swords, which gleamed threateningly. Is it just an apology from him or all of you seeking death together? The choice is all up to you. Do you think we are really afraid of you? Let's fight if that's what you want. A Xuanling sect disciple took it upon himself to draw out his sword in preparation for a fight. Other disciples. Similarly, drew out their swords and made their stand clear. Looking at his fellow disciples who fully supported him, Kiyamo's eyes reddened, touched by the bonds of his fellow disciples. You said you'll let all of us go as long as I apologize? Kiyamo took a deep breath. A man should have dignity and not bow down, not to mention the insult of crawling between one's legs. However, this incident was started because of him, and his fellow disciples were already suffering together with him. Since they had the heart of protecting him, how could he drag them into danger? That's right. I live up to my words. As long as you apologize obediently, we wind sword sect disciples are not unreasonable, the wind sword sect disciple said with a raised brow. The Xuanling sect disciples looked at Kiyamo in shock, and their faces were agitated. Junior brother Kiao, you must not do it. How could they tolerate others insulting their fellow disciple right before their eyes? As everyone was about to persuade Kiaomo, Luke Xuin suddenly spoke. It cannot be better that Kiaomo knows clearly the right thing to do and the principles to follow. Senior brothers, why bother going against Kiaomo's painstaking decision? This was originally started by him, and now that he can shoulder everything by himself, what is there to not do? Luke Xuin, shut up. A Xuanling sect disciple glared at Luke Xuin angrily. If not for the situation, he would have really killed the heartless betrayer that is Luke Xuin. Senior brother Lu didn't say anything wrong. It was Kiyamo who acted rashly and offended the wind sword sect disciple, which caused us to be in such a hopeless situation. Is there anything wrong if he apologizes now? Suwon echoed. As the Xuanling sect disciples argued amongst themselves, the wind sword sect disciples snickered as they watched the show. It seems that there are some logical people in Xuanling sect as well. It was a casual sentence, but the sarcasm was exceptionally obvious. They were clearly disciples of the same sect, yet they persuaded a fellow disciple to be insulted in fear of being implicated. Such a thing would never happen in their wind sword sect. Everyone, my mind is set. I am the one who implicated everyone in this matter. Kiyamo took a deep breath and walked forward, looking coldly at the wind sword sect disciple who lifted a leg and was waiting for him to crawl under. Junior brother Kiao, some Xuanling sect disciples wanted to stop him, but Kiyamo had already made up his mind. Shutting his eyes in resignation, he bent his knees and kneeled on the ground. The mockery in the wind sword sect disciples' eyes deepened as they waited for Kiyamo to humiliate himself. However, as Kiyamo's knees were about to touch the ground, there was a cold sensation on his knees suddenly. Kiyamo opened his eyes in surprise and suddenly saw a sword was placed across his knees, which supported his knees up straight. Shock flashed past Kiyamo's eyes. He looked up and saw a stunning girl in a Xuanling sect uniform was standing beside him with a smile while the handle of that sword was in her hands. A man should have dignity and not bow down. How can a Xuanling sect disciple kneel down so easily? A casual voice along with a cool breeze entered everyone's ears. On that exquisite face, her cherry red lips were curled into an evil smile. Chapter 366, Mighty Senior Sister, 1. Who are you? 
the Win Sword sect disciple saw that the outcome was about to be settled and did not expect such a thing to happen. That girl tilted her head slightly as her bright eyes glanced across the group of Wind Sword sect disciples. The Win Sword sect disciple wanted to berate the girl but was suddenly stopped by his companion. Don't speak carelessly. That is Xuanling sect's inner sect disciple. What? The Win Sword sect disciple fixed his eyes on her. Although the girl was wearing Xuanling sect's uniform, it was different from that of Kiaomos and the rest, with the most obvious difference being the embroidery that symbolized an inner sect disciple in front of her chest. This look caused the group of wind sword sect disciples to pale. Inner sect disciple. They were only a group of outer sect disciples from wind sword sect, and as sect disciples, how would they now know the world of differences between the inner and outer sect? It's its senior sister Yi. A Xuanling sect disciple recognized that girl with just a look and was shocked. It's Yi Kington, senior sister Yi. The moment the Xuanling sect disciple saw Yi Kington, it was as though they saw a ray of light in their darkness of despair. Kiaomo fell into a trance as he looked at Yi Kington with his mouth hung open. What are you still doing there? Do you want me to help you up? Yi Kington raised a brow at the absent-minded Kiyamo. Kiyamo stood up frantically and looked at Yi Kington with admiration and respect. The Blood Moon sect elder beside Yi Kington scanned the situation, and the corners of his lips tugged up. He still thought that the disappearance of these disciples was related to the Blood Moon sect, but now it seemed that they were just cornered by other sect's disciples. Senior Sister Yi. Seen Yi Kington, an inner sect disciple. The Xuanling sect disciples surrounded her as though they had found a mainstay and looked at her with eyes full of respect. Yi Kington nodded slightly. When she saw Lu Xuin and Su Wan, there was not a slight change in her expression. She merely glimpsed past them as though they were completely unacquainted. Yi Kington's sudden appearance caught both Lu Xuin and Su Wan by surprise, especially when Kiyamo and the rest surrounded Yi Kington with a look of admiration. Lu Xuin's face darkened in an instant. Yi Kington simply did not bother with Lu Xuin and Su Wan as her eyes were directly fixed on the Wind Sword sect disciples. What were you all doing just now? Yi Kington's tone was neither warm nor cold, but to the Wind Sword sect disciples, that emotionless voice was like a rumble of thunder that caused their hearts to quiver. No, nothing much. Upon meeting Yi Kington, an inner sect disciple, all arrogance was gone in the Wind Sword sect disciples, who were previously blustering and truculent. Expressions of uneasiness were etched on their faces. They initially thought that these dumb fools from Xuanling sect would definitely be toyed around by them, but who would expect that it would actually alarm Xuanling sect's inner sect disciple? And how would they be unaware of the frightening skills that inner sect disciples possessed? Even if all of them went up against her together, it was probably not enough to restrain that one girl. Moreover, there was still another inner sect disciple beside her. Just these two people were enough for them to be unable to bear the consequences of failure. Nothing much? Yi Kington raised a brow as she took a glimpse at Kiaomo, whose complexion had not recovered to normal. Chapter 367, Mighty Senior Sister, 2. Nothing much. And yet, you dared to make my Xuanling sect disciple kneel to you. How bold of you. Yi Kington's voice deepened as she spoke. The coldness in her voice caused the Wind Sword sect disciples to break out in cold sweat in fear. It's, it's not it. It's your Xuanling sect disciples who started arguing with us first. Thus, we had a conflict. A wind sword sect disciple mustered his courage and said, This was also the truth in reality. Oh? Yi Kington glanced at a few Xuanling sect disciples. What happened exactly? Kiaomo and the rest obviously did not dare to conceal anything and recounted the incident fully without leaving out any details. After hearing the account, Yi Kington swept a look across the wind sword sect disciples' faces. It was a brief glance. But the look in her eyes caused goosebumps to rise on all the Wind Sword sect disciples. So you want my junior brother to crawl between your legs and then cut out to you in apology? Yi Kington said coldly, but when she finished her sentence, her eyes suddenly sharpened. She drew out her demonic blood sword angrily. The demonic blood sword which was just strengthened was dangerously imposing. The moment it left its scabbard, 
a cold air spread in the air. The wind sought sect disciples' legs wobbled in fear at the sight. This was the skill of an inner sect disciple. Before making a strike, they were already exuding such a terrifying and overbearing force. The wind sought sect disciples' faces paled instantly, and they did not even dare to let out a fart. Looking at Yi Kington, warmth spread in the hearts of Kiaomo and the rest. Thinking about how they were tightly chased by the wind sought sect disciples for these few days, did they still dare to act so arrogantly to them with senior sister Yi here right now? Yi Kington's back view was originally tiny, but at that instant, it seemed extremely tall and large. Why? Are you bullying us because you think our Xuanling sect is lacking? Yi Kington scoffed. The wind sword sect disciples were about to vomit in fear from Yi Kington's aura but did not dare to retort and only shook their heads violently. It was just a casual talk, yet how dare you corner my junior brothers and not let them go for days? How should I settle this score? Yi Kington narrowed her eyes. The wind sword sect disciples were so close to weeping. A casual talk? How was it a casual talk? Exclamation mark. It was clearly Kiyamo who started the fight. Why did it seem like they intentionally stirred up trouble when Yi Kington said it? But they did not dare to argue at that instant. The other party was an inner sect disciple and was on a completely different level from them. When they saw inner sect disciples on usual days. All of them were extremely respectful and cautious. This senior sister over here. You can settle it however you want the wind sword sect disciples were really frightened then. Yi Kington was not anxious to reply and instead turned around to look at Kiyamo and the rest. How are your injuries? Their injuries were not severe and were mostly external injuries. It was just that they seemed rather miserable after being chased. They were about to speak. But Yi Kington turned around by herself and spoke to the wind sword sect disciples. You all caused my junior brothers to be so heavily injured and delayed their return to the sect to submit their mission. Of course, you all must compensate for their loss. The wind sword sect disciples' eyes were about to pop out. Heavily injured? How were they heavily injured? Kiyamo and the rest were dumbfounded. Where did senior sister Yi see that they were heavily injured? Chapter 368 mighty senior sister, 3, I've long heard that wind sword sect has many spirit pills, including the elegant moon pill which you almost likely have, forget it, each of you just has to compensate 2 bottles of the elegant moon pill, and this matter can be considered to be over, Yi Kington said with a smile, the wind sword sect disciples faces darkened, the wind sword sect's elegant moon pill had similar effects as Xuanling sect's Xi spirit pill but was more effective, outer sect disciples like them would only be given 3 bottles every month, Yi Kington shaved almost 1 month's quantity away from them, why, unwilling? Yi Kington looked at the wind sword sect disciples hesitant faces and smiled faintly. She waved her demonic blood sword, and an aura was shot out from the blade. In just an instant, the sword aura swept across the forest nearby, and like a wave, all the trees within a hundred meters away were chopped. A loud crashing sound pierced everyone's ears. Everyone stared at the flattened forest with their mouths hung ajar as cold sweat trickled down their foreheads. How terrifying was this power? Senior sister Yi is so powerful. The Xuanling sect disciples were in awe. So this was the ability of an inner sect disciple? After seeing the damage that Yi Kington did with just a light move, Luke Xuan's face darkened to an extreme instantly. Yi Kington actually became this powerful. How could this be? Previously, Luke Xuan had never witnessed Yi Kington's skills during the inner sect assessment and was very skeptical of Yi Kington's entrance to the inner sect. However, personally seeing everything today, he suddenly realized that the distance between him and Yi Kington had unknowingly widened to a point that it was insurmountable. Even the Blood Moon sect elder beside Yi Kington could not help but secretly call her a monster after seeing her skills. It was just a month. How exactly did this girl improve so quickly? The skills of the current Yi Kington and when she was taking the inner sect assessment was also a world of differences. In reality, Yi Kington's skills improved by a large extent in this one month since entering the inner sect. The upgrading of her spirit root and the rich spirit energy in the inner sect allowed her skills to improve rapidly. Now, she had already surpassed Con 8 level 9 and entered Martial Chi level 1, a completely unimaginable presence to the outer sect disciples. If you're unwilling, 
any one of you can come forward to receive one move from me, if you can withstand it, this matter can be settled. Yi King Tang smiled at the wind sword sect disciples who were all a miserable shade of white while uttering something that threw them into utter despair. All color was drained from the wind sword sect disciples' faces. Who the hell would be able to withstand one move from her? Was this not seeking death? Then, no matter how unwilling they were, they could only submit. The group of wind sword sect disciples handed the elegant moon pills over gloomily. After collecting over thirty bottles of elegant moon pill, Yi Kington was slightly more satisfied. You all can scram now. The wind sword sect disciples did not dare to hang around any longer and fled off hurriedly. Watching them leave, Kiaomo and the rest felt that their anger was avenged satisfyingly. Thank you, senior sister Yi. If not for you today, we would have been humiliated by them. Tears filled the Xuanling sect disciples' eyes. It was only when they saw an inner sect disciple from their sect during a crisis and were saved from misery did it occur to them how precious their clothes that symbolized Xuanling sect disciple were. Chapter 369, Mighty Senior Sister, 4. There was a smile in Yi Kington's eyes as she looked at the group of disciples. Temporarily leaving aside the fact that the disciples competed amongst each other within the sect, all of them were shouldering the same sect glory once they were out of the sect. We are from the same sect. There's no need to thank me, Yi Kington said with a smile. Afterward, she handed the wind sword sect disciples compensation of over 30 elegant moon pills to the leading disciple. These are wind sword sects compensation to you all. Divide it amongst yourselves. The disciples shook their heads in a fluster. No no no. We cannot accept these, senior sister Yi. If not for you, we would have either died or been heavily insulted and injured. We cannot accept these items. Yi Kington looked at them funnily. Why can't you accept it? They compensated you all, not me. Furthermore, I only said a few sentences. You are all injured and are delayed by a few days. If not compensated well, you all would fall behind others. The disciples were at a loss of whether to laugh or cry. Senior sister, those few sentences that you said then were the key. Calculating the price of these elegant moon pills and then the number of sentences that Yi King Tung said, a single word from her was really almost worth a thousand teals of gold. The group could not win over Yi King Tung and could only accept it reluctantly though their hearts were deeply filled with gratitude. Lu Xuin and Su Wan had been lingering outside and did not near Yi King Tung. It was as though the two of them were isolated by the group. Yi King Tung naturally did not pay them any attention and took a leave first after leaving some instructions for the group. The mission this time was rather simple and unrelated to the Blood Moon sect. Everything was smooth. Yi King Tung had just left. But the disciples had still not returned to their senses from Yi Kington's valiant and heroic bearing. As outer sect disciples, they rarely had chances to interact with inner sect disciples. To them, the words inner sect was unreachable and extremely mysterious. Senior sister Yi is such a nice person. Kiyamo scratched his head, and his eyes were filled with gratitude. Did you all see clearly just now? That one move from senior sister Yi was so domineering. A disciple was still absorbed in that one move that Yi Kington unleashed previously. Just looking at the many trees that were chopped, one could tell how frightening that sword aura was. Did senior sister Yi use the sword aura just now? Weren't only martial chi level ones able to use it? Why do I remember that? Senior sister Yi had only entered the inner sect for one month. The famous story of Yi Kington's entrance into the inner sect had long circulated in the outer sect and the few of them were not unfamiliar with it. However, after seeing her in person today, they realized Senior Sister Yi was way more domineering than the rumors had told her to be. Senior Sister Yi was able to advance from Conate Level 9 to Martial Chi Level 1 in a month's time. She is indeed powerful and truly the disciple who entered the inner sect in the shortest time. If I have just 10% of her skills, I would be content already. Everyone was full of exclamation over Yi Kington's skills and did not notice that Luke Xuin's face was extremely somber. He had felt that he improved greatly in this one month, 
Yet unexpectedly, Yi Qingtong's skills improved at a tremendous pace. With just that little improvement of his, it was an utter joke in comparison to Yi Qingtong. Su Wan looked at Luke Xuan's somber side profile and did not dare to say anything further. However, from the incident today, Su Wan realized Yi Qingtong had long been at another level. Chapter 370 Rage 1. Why did you just let the people from the Wind Sword sect go? The Blood Moon sect elder followed E. Kington as she walked out of the floating light canyon. He suddenly had other thoughts in his mind. E. Kington stopped and took a glance at the Blood Moon sect elder. Source of the Marrow Pill. The Blood Moon sect elder was stunned as he heard the words. I just asked only ha ha. He avoided E. Kington's eyesight, but how he wished to strangle the girl in front of him. The Blood Moon sect elder felt depressed. Yi Kington joined the mission for the sect and the Xuanming points. But what could he get? Nothing in the sect was attractive to him, especially the honor of the sect. He could only bear with it when Yi Kington suppressed him. Yi Kington rubbed her brows as she looked at the Blood Moon sect elder. The old guy would not even behave for a second. If she did not watch him tightly, he would definitely target others. The mission was smooth this time. Yi Kington did not wish to waste any time as she still needed to cultivate in the inner sect. She then rushed back to Xuanling sect. The Blood Moon sect elder returned to his yard gloomily when they returned to the sect. Yi Kington was amused by his expression and decided to refine some source of the marrow pills for him in the next few days. Yi Kington returned to her yard but she realized that something was not right when she pushed open the gate of the yard. Since she provided Fi Ying and Nishang with basic cultivation technique previously, they would cultivate and practice all the time in the yard. However, the yard now was empty and messy. There was the smell of blood in the air. An uneasy feeling rose in her heart. She then rushed into the yard and saw pools of blood on the stone path at the center of the yard. The blood was dry now but it still stroke her eyes, young, young lady a weak voice came from the house at the side, Yi Kington looked towards the house, and she was totally stunned, Fi Ying, who was injured heavily, laid at the door, and his face was full of wounds, you are finally back, young lady, Yi Kington felt uneasier as she looked at his injured body, she then noticed that Nishang was not around, she dashed towards Fi Ying and asked, where is Nishang? Fi Ying shivered as he heard the question. Tears flowed out of his swollen eyes. He kneeled in front of Yi Kington and knocked his head on the ground constantly. Young lady, please save Nishang. What happened? Yi Kington held Fi Ying's collar and dragged him up. Fi Ying was choked with sobs. Nishang. Nishang was brought away by them. I was so useless. I couldn't protect her. Young lady, please. You are the only one who can save her now. Fi Ying told everything to Yi Qingtong slowly. After Yi Qingtong left for her mission, Fi Ying and Nishang used all the time to cultivate and guard the yard. They wanted to help Yi Qingtong to look after the silver wolf, but it disappeared one day. Both of them were nervous and worried about the silver wolf. However, danger approached them secretly, 